Messing with people is always fun and computer pranks are no exception. What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a good day. It's Master Hacker Veraxity and in today's video, in light of uh, you know, 10 million views on this uh, here computer prank short, I think it's finally time we sat down together and talked about Command Prompt or CMD. Now in today's video, we're actually gonna be going over what CMD is, um, how to use it if you're just completely unfamiliar with it at all, and uh, some pretty cool things you can do with it, including some pranks. So as your attorney, I advise you to sit down, buckle up, and then crack your fingers as loud as humanly possible. Actually, maybe don't do that last one. You could probably get injured. But yeah, let's waste no time and let's talk about that magical black box that you see on the screen right there, known as CMD. To start off, we need to actually know what CMD is and what it's used for. CMD, also known as Command Prompt or Windows Command Processor, is the command line interface or CLI for Windows. Most people are used to hopping on their computer and interacting with a graphical user interface or GUI. The main difference between CLI and GUI is in the first letter of the acronym. Command line interfaces are interfaces only accepting text inputs or commands to execute operating system functions. So whenever you're using your computer from day-to-day -day activities, you're actually interacting with a GUI. Clicking buttons, moving windows, editing videos, these are all examples of the graphical part of a GUI. So CMD is essentially the opposite of that, only accepting commands in the form of text to control the machine. CMD goes all the way back to the earliest days of the computers and operating systems to whenever there was no GUI at all, or even mouse for that matter. All you could do was type in commands to control the machine. And I'm not kidding at all about that either, computers were actually like that back then. There was no mouse, there was no Photoshop, there was no free games at roblox.com, there was no Queen of England. All you got was a lit up box with some text on the screen, and it was up to you and your keyboard to manipulate that text to do what you want. It's just crazy thinking about it because, you know, our ancestors, they worked so hard. They worked so hard. They built coliseums, you know, they fought lions with their freaking hands, right? Just so we could uh, sit on Discord late at night and, uh, you know, just insult people. Either way, what did we learn? We learned that Command Prompt is basically the Windows CLI, all right? Just like the name states, you could enter commands into it. And now for the fun part, ladies and gentlemen, what kind of commands can we enter into it? Let's get right into the CMD pranks. So in order to actually access CMD, we're going to hit Windows and R together, type CMD and then hit enter. Now as you can see, we have the magical black box right on our screen. But now that we have command prompt up, I'm going to show you how to navigate it a little bit and I'm going to give you a little bit of insight if you're new to the whole command prompt thing. If, you might, if you're just used to accessing your computer by all this down here, clicking on buttons and it being really easy for you to do anything and you're new to command prompt, you know, this might be a little bit of some good advice to so listen up. Now behind the command prompt window, we actually have, what do you see? here a bunch of folders right but another name for folders is actually directories these are directories where you can store information and as you can see in command prompt this is the directory that we're currently in it's in our C drive it's C users of Rex that's my name really but folders being called directories is our first command that we're actually gonna be learning about and that is DIR if you type DIR which is short for directory and hit enter It'll show you all the directories in the folder that you're currently located in. Now, in order to get some more perspective on this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type CD for change directory, and then I'm going to type desktop. I guess my desktop is in a folder called OneDrive, so I'm actually going to type CD OneDrive, and then I'm going to type CD desktop. Okay, so now we're actually in the desktop, as you can see right here. Let me just type CLS to clear out everything. But now you're gonna notice something really familiar now that we're on our desktop or in our desktop directory, right? If I type DIR, what do you see? You see all the folders that I have right here. So congratulations, this is your first step into becoming a little computer prankster. You now know how to navigate command prompt. You could use CD to change the directory you're in, DIR to see all the subdirectories. And if you wanna back out of a directory, all you have to do is type CD dot dot and you go back to OneDrive. So, now that we know how to use command prompt, let's get into the real juicy meat and potatoes of this video. Okay, let's uh, let's look at some pranks.
Okay, so the first CMD prank that I want to talk about is going to be the remote shutdown dialogue, as seen in this video before. Now, a little bit of history about the remote shutdown dialogue, or a little bit of uh, remote shutdown lore, I guess you could call it. So, the main purpose of the remote shutdown dialogue is if somebody is a system admin somewhere, you know, uh, if somebody is just works in a giant building and they need to admin these computers, right, and they don't want to walk all the way across the building, right? If you work in a skyscraper, you don't want to go down 300 floors just to, you know, turn off a computer. So that's where remote shutdown comes in. Now you can see in our command prompt here, all we got to do is type shutdown and then tack I. And once we hit enter, the remote shutdown dialog comes up. So here we have our computers listed where we can add our computer's uh, host name or their IP address, right? And this is going to be their local IP addresses. For those of you that don't know, there's a couple types of IP addresses, one of them being the public and one of them being the private. Private, also known as local IP addresses, are ones connected to your router. That's so the router can tell which device is actually accessing the internet. And now, let's say you want to shut down a computer, but you don't know the local IP address of that computer. I'm going to show you a little trick that you can find all the local IPs uh, on the entire network, basically, of the network that you're connected to. So let's get out of this for a second and let's enter in a new command. The new command is going to be ARP TAC A. And as you can see, once you hit enter, you get all of the IP addresses that are connected to your network. This would be useful because check this out, right? So we go back into shutdown dash I, we go back into the remote shutdown dialog, and then this is how we add a computer. So we would need to add one of these IP addresses depending on which computer's IP it is. And now you could just be a menace, right? You could just start entering an IP, right? You could be a menace. You could just start shutting down all of these, but you know, don't do that, right? And as the uh, transition card stated before, don't do this in school. Okay, hey, hey, I know it's tempting, but don't do it. Admin privileges are a thing for a reason. And uh, yeah, that's basically the remote shutdown prank, if you want to call it that. So you could make the computers do uh, a variety of things here. You know, you can annotate an unexpected shutdown, which means you could like put a message before it. You can make like a message pop up on the why it's shutting down. Or if you want to annotate an unexpected shutdown, you could do that and then the computer will just turn off. But as you can see, there's an event tracker, so this shouldn't be used as a prank. You know, it's a uh, it's got like, you know, hardware maintenance or installations, OS recovery. All these are like planned pre, you know, selected things that uh, system admins will shut down computers remotely for. So let's get on to the next CMD prank. Now the last CMD prank that we're gonna be talking about today, right? It's gonna be the MSG star command that we saw in this short that I made. Now a lot of people seem to be confused about this command, right? You see, the thing about it is, right, if I enter MSG star right now and then just some random message, right, and I hit enter, it says MSG is not recognized as an internal or external command. Well, what are you saying, Veraxity? Did you just lie to me? Did you just lie to me? Did you just- No, I didn't lie to you. Okay, so basically what the problem is here is this is not the Windows 10 Pro version of Windows, right? This is a, I think Windows 10 just like home or something. But I do have a Windows 10 Pro computer that I will show you, right? This command only ships with Windows 10 Pro devices. So if you're getting this message on your screen, this is because your device isn't a Windows 10 Pro device. Get Pro, loser. No, I'm just kidding. I honestly don't really know what the difference between Pro and normal is I don't use these commands on a daily basis but hey so just to show you guys something real quick I have a different computer loaded up right now and this one is actually a Windows 10 Pro device so if I type MSG star and then balls or whatever in this uh, little command prompt here and I hit enter it's actually gonna send the message to every single computer on my network. See, look, the, the message popped up right there, message from admin. So to go over this command, the MSG stands for message and the star just means to send it to every single device on the network. It's really that simple. So I hope this cleared up some questions or concerns you guys might've had about those shorts that I made. And I hope if you really wanna learn computers a little bit more, get in touch with computers a little bit, I hope you learned something new from this video. That being said, my name is Veraxity. Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification just so you get them notifications drop a like if you enjoyed and or if you learned something new uh dislike it if you just hate my guts and uh yeah i'll see you in the next video peace out